Alrighty ladies, day three. I hope you're having fun like I'm having fun. I just love God's word. It's so amazing and it's changed my life. And I know I used to sit in like this deep dark place within my heart just being consumed by worry and fear. And I don't have that anymore. And I want the same thing for you ladies, especially during this crazy time where we're like, what's going to happen, but it like shouldn't shake us because we have the peace of God that rules our hearts. Like we read yesterday in Philippians 4, you know, the peace of God rules in our hearts. And how do we do that? We have the peace of God rule in our hearts because we take our thoughts captive. We take this brain bolt and we take all that garbage out, <laughs> all those feelings, all those thoughts, we give them to God and we fill our brain bowl up with God's word and our relationship with him in prayer. And um, then how out of this brain bowl, if you will, it's just, it comes, this peace comes because you know God and you know he's bigger and you know that he can um, help you overcome this. Anyway, so I'm just so excited and I'm, I'm pumped. This passage in James, James 1, ladies, like if you read it and you're like, oh, I don't really... I don't really know how this applies to right now. Like you got to read it again and you got to say, Holy Spirit, illuminate this scripture to me because this scripture is amazing for this time right now. I mean, the whole chapter, <laughs> it's so good. You got to read it again and again. And I encourage you, you know, don't just read it in your um, typical translation, read it in multiple translations. You know, I suggest, I'm pretty sure I just suggest the Amplified for this one, but you could also read it in the Passion Translation. You could read it in the message, um, you know, read it in your traditional NKJV or ESV uh, and put, just read it, consume it like it's candy <laughs> um, or it's cookies or something. You just eat it up. It's so good. Um, what are the other scriptures? I can't really remember what the other scriptures were right now. <laughs> Oh, it's about, okay, Jeremiah was one of the other ones. Okay, so this time in Jeremiah, where we read in Jeremiah 29, the Israelites were facing slavery. They were facing a really, really dark time. Um, and they had just had a lot of bad stuff happen to them because they were disobedient to God. And they didn't listen to him or follow his commandments. And so they were kind of reaping what they sow. Um, and God warned them a lot. <laughs> um, but he also wanted to encourage them in this really dark time. So if you've just lost your job, um, or you're dealing with depression, you know, take the scripture to heart, okay? God has a plan for you, and he's going to work these things out for our good, but we got to seek him. He is a rewarder of those who seek him, and so you just press into him. I know when you are down or when you're frustrated or feeling depressed, the last thing you want to do is like run to God. That's the last thing you want to do. Uh, I know. I've been there. Like I don't want to do anything when I feel depressed. I just want to like lay in bed and not care about anything. Um, that is the time where you got to get up and you got, you know, maybe, you, maybe honestly, it's exhausting to open the word, turn on you version, go to James one and press play on the audio app and just listen to it. Listen to it over and over again. Go to Jeremiah 29. Um, I think 11 through 13 is what, um, our verses were today. Seek God, seek him. And, it's amazing how he shows up. Watch him show up. Wait for him to show up. I know he will. He does it for me all the time. He does it for millions of other people all of the time. And so I know that this is a really hard time for a lot of us. And I know lots of people have lost their jobs. And so I don't want to discount that. But God is good and he can use this for our benefit. And so I'm just really excited for you guys to dive into James 1. And I want you to take those, those garbage feelings that you've been feeling, give them to God like we did in day one, and fill your brain bowl up, your heart up with scriptures and really try to implement what you're reading in James. What James is teaching us in this first chapter is really relevant to how... Um, we should be living in this time and how we should view this time and um, just really good practical stuff. I love practical stuff. Anyways, um, shoot me any comments that you want below and, or prayer requests. I'm happy to pray for you guys. Uh, let's see. On to, we'll be on to day four after this. Oh my goodness.